Hmm, a village. Let's see what else is in this beautiful Minecraft world. What? Huh? Wait, what? Hello, it's Dominion Games and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you run mine or not mine's my big project. It stamped his lovely world. This project is the reason I temporarily gave up all my efforts and not posted really anything. In case you didn't see my new year update, I said I was doing this project since about July 22. I have built it more or less perfect up to Diamond 68 or David Shepard's latest video. Posted a year or two ago because I got as far as a slime farm and that's supposed to be 60 in about December 2015. I don't think I did any on PS4. I decided to return and finish up to Zuffy World now on PC with its infinite worlds for memory's sake. I'm building on the super flat world at no more, no more Y coordinates, so the water's Y level 64. And this video is going to be me talking about my experience in building a stumpy world. Episode 5, the, the theatre. About when I built the um, main stage, I found a builder's bond mod that was available for 1.19 forge. Literally, I should stop saying literally or basically because I can't even spell check it. Came out a few weeks ago. Little did I know that one was going to change my building life forever. Episode 109, The Golf Course. The one time Delman didn't count from the paths, I made the mistake that luckily won't cross my fun land forever. The fun land was a block too far away from the town, which was really annoying, but luckily barely affected the main town. I tried cloning, but even the golf course itself was too big to clone, and backups shake my head. I forgot as I didn't know how to use them well enough. That annoyed me all day as I all I did was move some terrain for a good four hours. It's not as good as M measurements, but I found a tape measure mod which really helps in the measurements. I've also found a texture pack that solely improves the note block and should repeat the textures. Episode 121, the emergency igloo and terrain. When doing the igloo and terrain, I decided to build the whole mountain. But halfway through, I found another texture pack that gives blocks borders much even better than plastic. It's very weird to look at, so only so only really use it for measurements. See if I fill up silverfish, stone and place drain. And I prefer the note block chain and repeaters. The mountain took a whole day, hold down a bit to build, with only a couple fix, with only a couple fix mistakes in my measurements. So the hundred and twenty four fish me a dish. Fish me a dish went well, but the right hand the spence, right hand side gets a head start. The middle dispenser shoots twice, and at the end. The first piston was temporarily dropped. Nothing against Stumpo, but I couldn't fix it with day today's red, redstone and sign says them. We built it, so I left it. 100, 148 crystal water rapids. For no reason whatsoever, I was messing with the builders one, one, one more. I worked out how the angel core worked, and you can place box better for me offhand. Because of that, I place all those signs in a few clips. 170, the tumble tower. Don't use builders bond on trap doors, it places on top half, and you can't break them quickly without an efficiency else with high haste in survival, where there's no fly. Best way to place them is shift space fly. 171. I decided to take a break over Christmas. Was hoping to learn Christmas piano songs, but got distracted in another game, which I don't really play now. 
as the games in it require stupidly non-farming, non-stop farming to get on leaderboards to get good. It's it's worth your pay to win, and I've got sick of, sick of games copying each other. So you get good in one variant, and another one where is that came out. 175, Polly's house. I've done a ton of terrain. White House to the fun, fun land sign. And all of that between the fun land and the town. And modified the water mountain terrain a bit. And most of the paths and grass beyond the theatre. I tried to get World Edit, which is available for 1.19.3, but mods make 19.3 square. 182, busy fun, and banners. I did one a diamond show does, but the other banners look cool, cool and all, but not for me. Use a loom, fair enough, pretty cool. But diamond put the names of the patterns to put on the banners, but on the loom, you have to click on the you have to click on the banner pattern and highlight the complete complete banner to see the pattern name. The closest name I could find for pave or something was pale. So on. Hundred eighty nine. I built lots of videos to here and thought I'd get the creeper because of the mountain terrain built. The Creeper Coast of Building videos is 16 parts. Hopefully I can reduce that with the mountain itself. Three Creeper Coast part one. Got most of the terrain done, but it's hard as I don't have anything here yet. I've made holes for the tracks, which helps. Amazingly, I've seemingly made no mistakes. Creeper Coast of video five. Going very well. Under a third of the videos, and I've done the start building to the Rainbow Tunnel hill. And this video is all of the track. That means that's all I left to do is the cave, the mushroom man, decoration, and I almost forgot the squid man. We've cut to episode 13. Looks like I was right. The majority of these are terrain videos. Glad I've done them third party, as most of these are 40 minutes long. Well, I would have only got through a couple of a day. 211, laugh on logs. Here, Diamond took a year and about five months break and came back on bedrock. I'm sort of jealous about the fast build, but if I had a choice, I would have chosen the builder's one anyways. They've also removed directional doors, which they had on Legacy Console. 222 Raindrop By this point, I keep looking around my world and imagine doing this recording, if you know what I mean. For the live, I'll do a bubble elevator. That'll work rendering this ride working. I don't have to place 284 signs just for the water to waterlog them, just like the mob farm. 3223 raindrops have played a lot of grass and stone bricks for the farmland paths. I did the paths as I went with the town, but as you get used to doing paths, people don't really show themselves building them, just dimensions. 3228 the water wash. As I can now smell the end of this massive project of building stamps of your world, things are moving very slowly. I used to be able to build up to about 10 to 12 videos a day, and now I'm only building about 3 to 4. Not too sure why. Probably because since this year break, break off YouTube, Diamond is improving, so I can't fast forward so much. 237 The Jungle Gym. But I'll leave out the new farm factory and ice cream place as not to modernise it too much. As you can still see, Squid's house and the water that's been pouring since very early in this project. I will keep the lovelying as that's the final countdown 5 episodes. 239 the lovelying. And here we are, the first video of the last project of Endowment so far on Subsidy World. 
60 blocks tall, the countdown. 240, the lovely link. If you do repetitive stuff such as the lamps, the white wall floor, etc., there's barely anything in these rooms, although there are 14 total floors. 243, the lovely link. The last video. This is quite some project. I'm so happy to be here right now. But yes, Diamond 68. Congrats on 300 Sampy Lovely World videos, including the house. And we have done it. In the meantime, I will fill in the water surrounding the world and some more flat terrain. I'm mainly doing the water around the house. I'm not like filling in the entire world, only the stuff that Sampy built around. At the Funland side, I have used burial blocks to simulate the edge of the legacy, con legacy console, edge of the legacy console world. And I think I'll wrap it up here. I couldn't really do more as there is new stuff to build. Also, unless you want to see more, this is probably the only video I'm going to do. If you do want to see more, I'll post update. I'll post updates. Hope hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.